What up guys, this is Nova Wing Angel here and right now I am going to be unboxing the P6 400 Power Jumper um, 4.0 liters blah 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 and uh, specifications It's a 12 dozen milliamp battery that you can charge your devices with and you're like Nova Well, if it charges your devices, why do you need something this big? You might already know the answer to that, but it is a jump starter for your car. Um, fully charged. I don't even think you need to be fully charged to be honest. But uh, you could um, you could do this to jump start your car, <laughs> and it's fucking awesome. So I'm sorry if you see your random screaming. There's kids outside. You not have my window open. It's nice outside, so bear with me. But you can use this thing to jump start your freaking car in case you're out there alone and uh, your car won't start, and you know you need a little bit of juice. You can use this beast. To power jump your car. And I read the reviews. That's why I bought it. The reviews are positive, guys. These guys are like jumping Lincoln Navigators and stuff. That's crazy. You know, that's crazy. So I decided to go ahead and get one because it was on sale on Newegg for 50 bucks. So I picked one of these up and uh, I thought it was a neat little product. I could also charge my phone with it if I really want to or was so inclined to do so. But I never really went out of battery for my phone. Even if I did, I would probably buy a Mophie case for it. Which is a juice pack in case you guys don't know. But yeah, so um, without any further ado, let's go ahead and actually let's keep looking at this product a little bit. So like I said, it's, start, um, it can, it's for engines of 4.0 liters. Up to 4.0 liters. I don't know how accurate that is. That might be like a gross underestimation just to be safe. But you might be able to pull out bigger cars. But do not quote me on that. That's just me guessing. Don't be like, oh, it didn't work on my 5 whatever. I don't even know how, how much they go for. But I just, I don't know. Just follow this. Alright, so you can jumpstart your car in the portable device. But you know that? It has emergency charger for smartphone and tablet. That's cool. And backup power for your laptop. That's awesome. And ultra bright LED flashlight. That's also very cool. So this is a very cool device to have for emergencies in your car. And that's where I plan on keeping this little beast. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and open it after we read the specifications. Here's more like the nomenclature and stuff and the cycles and whatnot. The volts, the ampage, the USB volts and ampage and the blah, 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 AC, DC. You guys already know what that means. All that good stuff. And it's one watt for the LED light, which is cool. All right. So let's go ahead and pop this some bitch open. And uh, where's my knife? Oh, here it is. My trusty knife. Ah, nice. So there we go. There's a little cut, and uh, we could easily I, I could easily just twist with my hand to be honest, but you know I like I like using this knife. I mean I paid enough for it. I paid like I don't even know, I think like twenty bucks or twelve bucks. I don't know something like that. But I paid money for it, and I want to use it. So I took off the plastic now, and so it's just a uh, chassis, I guess, or box, and uh, you flip these. Ah, there we go. I have to use a little bit of the gains right there. You flip that up and there it is. Here's the device itself. We open it up and let's have that chill right there. And that's what you see right when you open it. So we see this little booklet right here. I don't even know what this is. A warranty card, that's pretty cool. Certified quality, they passed the QC. Quality control, um, what is this? It's a user manual. I'm literally looking through it through the camera. So like, I don't even know what's going on here. Warning, keep up from fire and water, shock hazard. Explosion hazard, holy shit. So that's pretty cool. I guess if you want to read this on your own, you can, but whenever you get the product, just know this is, I'm literally wasting time here. This is a warranty. I was a little like, you know, I was a little hypnotized by it. But yes, let's get to the box itself. Or I guess not really box, but like, I guess the device itself and the, the attachments and whatnot. So here's a cable right here. And this is, I think this goes for laptop. I don't know what the hell this is. Uh, this looks pretty standard though. I don't know what what the name for this is, but it looks pretty standard like for laptops. Unfortunately, I do own a Mac, so this is not gonna fit my Mac. But uh, and um, oh, I think this is a unit to, to charge the device using the car. So that's cool. We have a car charger for it. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Toss that aside. Ooh, what's this cable? All right, I think. Oh, this is for old school. Uh, this is for old school iPods. This is the micro USB. Yes, yeah, micro USB. That's gonna be for your like Galaxy S6 and whatnot. This is gonna be the cable for the iPhone. That's pretty cool. For the new iPhone, that's nice. The newer ones, I guess, because it also involves some of the old ones. And it's a USB port attaching for that. And the cable's white, that's pretty interesting. That'd be black. All right, let's pop this open right here. And I think it's just another charger, yeah. It's just, this one's a wall adapter though. 
So you can use this to, uh, if I can open it, Jesus, I'm losing a battle here. Fuck, evolution went wrong. <laughs> but here's the attachment right here. You can use this wall charge to charge the device also. And right here, we have like a bunch of like adapters. Yeah, I believe, I don't even know what I believe. All right, this goes in somewhere. And it charges everything. Uh, I think I think we take use of this cable. Yeah, we plug this cable into a device, and then we plug, I guess, through. I think the small end probably. That'd be well, logically, I think. Uh, yeah, through the small end. And uh, you plug this, you plug this into your device, and you use this on the device, and then you charge whatever thing you need to charge. But I actually don't have any devices that can take advantage of these wide range of things. At least not that I know of. So um, I'll definitely update <laughs> if I. Uh, discover I do actually have a device for these little things but it looks like it'll work for a lot of like laptops like Windows laptops and stuff but I'm not entirely sure so don't quote me on that and there's a cable that complements those uh, little attachments that I showed you earlier which I should also show you the cable and we have the prongs here so these prongs are pretty badass and this plugs into wherever it plugs in um, I believe they made it idiot proof let me check uh, no, they didn't make it idiot. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Because as you can see, one's really circular. If I can focus, come on, camera. There we go. One's circular, and one has like the edges, like the attached on there. And that makes sure that you don't plug it into the wrong slot. Because if you do plug it into the wrong slot, bad things can happen. So that is it. And now we got the device itself. But before that, we're going to take a look at the box. Um, the, it's just plastic, like this is plastic. It's like hardy plastic. No, actually, it's actually kind of not hardy at all. But it definitely feels a lot less flexible than other cheaper plastic I've encountered. And that's important because, I mean, you want this thing to be durable. You know, have it in your car. You want this to be, you know, be able to keep this thing pretty dry. You know, you don't want to explode it or something. But let's get to the device itself. And it's covered in a uh, little plastic, so that's cool. Let's take that off real fast. There we go. And here is a device. A power jumper. Uh, let me see if I can focus on that. There we go. Power jumper, jumper, and uh, jump starter, and power bank. Energen. So here's the 5 volt, 2 amps output, which is actually um, is supported by Galaxy S6 to get that, that higher charge speed. So that's cool. And there's the output for 12 volts, 2 amps for like laptops or whatever else devices you have. Here's another input. This is obviously where you input a, a, a cable to power it up. And let's see if this has any juice. We have full juice on this thing off the back. That's pretty cool. But I would, I, I would uh, recommend you charge it, I guess, when you get it right away. Um, but yeah, so. Um, this is, oh, this is the flashlight. I wonder if we can get this to work. Let me check. Oh, no, this is start engine. What the hell? Oh, this is to, uh, if you unplug this, you can plug in the, those cables that we saw to jump the, to jump the thing. This LED is just doing its own thing. But alright guys, I'll try to figure it out and I'll get back to you when I do. Alright lads, and we're back and I figured it out. So the way you do it is you turn on the LEDs and you gotta hold down the power button. And you wait for it. And BAM! LED lighting. Let's go. That's pretty cool. Like in like, you know, very hazardous situations, this could be very handy. And if you hold it again, it actually does like different, um, different modes. I think this is the SOS. I'm pretty sure it is. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is SOS. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, but I'm not entirely sure. But I, I think I saw that somewhere. I don't know. But it has other settings too, so if, you, if I hold it again, it like does one that's like constantly going. There you go. Like that. So if you're trying to attract attention or something, there's that. And then uh, I think the other one's off. Yeah, it's off. And um, actually, let me go ahead and see if I, we can actually turn on the flashlight without turning on the LEDs. Yeah. Oh, no, no, we can't turn on the, the LEDs oh, on the side. Uh, all right. That's still pretty cool, though. It's actually pretty nifty. This thing is heavy, though. It's like my arm is slightly starting to hurt just holding it up like that. I'm just going to hold it and bam. Oh, never mind. I thought it turned off, but it didn't. I apologize for the intense light there, guys. <laughs> this thing is pretty damn bright, guys. Uh, are you gonna turn off or? Okay. All right, guys. So that is it. 
There's an energy power jumper, 400, blah, blah, blah. Unboxing, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. Let me turn off these damn LEDs. But that is it for now, guys. This has been Nova Wing Angel here. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know if you have this device, if you have certain experiences you want to share. Or if you're curious about the device and want a little bit more detail, let me know in the comment section below. But this has been Nova Wing Angel here. And I'm out for now.